Just still, while we're on the police portfolio, you and I talked last week about the bollards and beautifying them. Uh, I noticed one gentleman's been wrapping them up. We're going to talk about out of 10 what we do, what ideas, but it's getting a bit urgent. We had a look over at them today, and these are on our website, 3 The ones over at Southern Cross are being used as ashtrays. Mm-hmm. There's blood over a couple of them, and some have been graffitied. Mm-hmm. So we sort of... Has that gone any further? Uh, yes. So I, I've asked the... Both both issues you raised last week, one was with the organisations representing blind um, and oh, vision yes, impaired right. people. Yep. So those conversations and consultations are going on right now. But I also asked the working group that's looking at that. So this is City of Melbourne, Vic Pohl, uh, et cetera, to actually look at developing up, having kids coming in to do some painting. Now, I would point out the City of Melbourne, and I've had a couple of conversations with them, they're pretty reluctant to go down this path, but I... I did point out that I, I didn't think it was going to be very long before we had graffiti on them. Yeah. So why not use the opportunity to, yes, yeah, send the message around security, but at the same time make these something that, you know, a part look look nice and part of our city. So why don't I'm they hopeful like that... Why, why aren't they keen? They think it undermines the security message that these are here to protect um, the city from terrorism and it sort of makes them more fun. I think you can do both, particularly when we're talking about planter boxes and things like that. We want these things to be part of our city, not, not you know, making us aware, but not necessarily um, being uh, in our face all the time. It's interesting. I talked to Robert Doyle about it a while ago before they went in, and he said there are bollards and bollards. He said if we can put a bollard there with a rubbish tin on top, you don't see the bollard, but it still is effective. Yeah. So he, he's sort of got some ideas. Yeah, I think that's right. And I think that's where we want to be with the permanent. And if we've got some options on the um, on these temporary ones to make them look a little bit better, fit in the city a bit better, I think we should do it.